Medieval warriors told stories of blades that could slice other swords in half. They were talking about Damascus steel. These legendary blades had a rippling, watery pattern. They were tough, sharp, and flexible. In an age of brutal combat, they were the high-tech weapon. But here's the twist, we lost the recipe. The steel likely came from special Wootz ingots made in India and Sri Lanka, then forged in the Middle East with exact heating and cooling methods. Modern microscopes show tiny carbon structures inside old Damascus blades, nanoscale patterns that gave them their strength and edge. We can make good steel today, fantastic steel in fact, but recreating exactly what those blacksmiths did with their materials and their process has been incredibly hard. Why? Because their knowledge wasn't written in lab notes. It was in the hands and memory of craftsmen. When trade routes changed and the last masters died, the technique simply vanished. Now researchers and metal workers try to reverse engineer it. Some get close, some claim success. But even they admit we may never know if it's a perfect match. Damascus steel proves something simple and scary. You don't need computers to create advanced materials. You just need time, trial and error, and a tradition we're smart enough to keep alive. So how many other lost materials are hiding behind museum glass, showing off tech no one today can quite repeat?